Yeah. Um, you know, Cheryl, that's a great moment. We got to pivot though to the weather because I just got a new update in from the Storm Prediction Center. They have decided to issue a new tornado watch. This is going to be for southwestern Georgia and extends all the way up into parts of our viewing area. So this is uh, uh, LaGrange right here. This is Troop County, Meriwether County, and also Harrelson County, where we have this rather Heard County, where we have this tornado watch. This is going to run until seven o'clock tonight. So that is an addition to Randolph County to Alabama, which already has a tornado watch until 6 p.m. Eastern, five o'clock central time later on today. So that is the new tornado watch just came out moments ago, right before we came on for this weather update. And in Atlanta, we don't have a watch at the moment, but we have to be prepared for what's on the way later today because we are breaking into a little bit of sunshine here in the metro that allows for the atmosphere to re energize and that's more fuel for these thunderstorms that are developing west of us and pushing in this afternoon. So we're in a lull right now. If you're in Atlanta, there's nothing happening immediately in the next 20 minutes. But look at this. These showers and storms pushing through Alabama right now. They're now moving across the state line. They are starting to push into some of our western counties and so very shortly you notice after that brief period of sunshine, clouds are going to move back in and some intense storms will likely follow. And this batch of storms will kind of ride right along this I-20 corridor on the north side of town as well. They're moving from west to east. There are some warnings out in Alabama for damaging winds and hail, a lot of heavy rain and lightning as well. And again, these are right along and just north of the I-20 corridor. So as we zoom in towards Harrelson County, we've got one of those storms just north of Bremen. That's going to push eastward eventually in towards Villa Rica, moving in towards Southern Paulding County as well. And if it holds together, which we do expect, it should arrive in Atlanta here as we get into early this afternoon. South side of time, some more scattered showers, not seeing any lightning in those right now. But the severe weather threat is as you've been seeing that level four risk of severe weather, it is the highest across central and southern Georgia. We are set up with that sunshine breaking out for some of these storms to turn strong and severe here in the metro. So damaging winds will be our primary severe weather player. Tornado threat is not zero. Also, there could be some hail. And I want to show you the tornado outlook for today. You see this yellow hashed area where the lines are kind of scattered. This is where we could see some more significant strong tornadoes. So that is in central and southern Georgia, closer to the Columbus area. For us, that tornado risk is kind of in that low end scale, but it's something we're going to watch as this next wave of storms moves in. Looking live right now, Rome, we've been watching the clouds moving in. Flags are blowing. But in Atlanta, look at this. Here's that sunshine I was mentioning starting to peek through the clouds. So if we see more of that sunshine that increases our severe weather chances, if the clouds move in quicker, which they eventually will as those storms move in, then that will help to limit the overall severe potential. But in Atlanta right now it is 74. It's very humid outside as well. 70 in Duluth breaking into some sunshine out near Covington where it's 72, 72 in Peachtree City. So here is the hour by hour forecast track for today. This does not exactly how radar is going to play out, but it's an idea of what things might look like. Here comes this next wave of showers and storms pushing in. I pause things at five o'clock so you can see we have a lot of these storms around the metro. It may not be raining everywhere, but it's this next active window for us, which is starting right now and will carry through the evening commute. Some of these storms could be intense. Some of them could be severe. Have a way to get warnings as you're out and about today. These will impact your evening commute tomorrow. More scattered showers and storms. I think especially around that afternoon to evening commute time frame will be likely. We will catch a break on Friday. A few more showers and storms move in for your Father's Day weekend. Cheryl. All right, Melissa, thanks for watching all that. We will break in as soon as we have any other new information on this ongoing weather situation.